Welcome to another demonstration video from Washington Street Studios, a community pottery studio and gallery located in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. Washington Street Studios offers 24-hour access to a community ceramic studio, featuring a throwing studio, fully equipped hand building studio, a surface decoration studio that includes a spray booth, and firing options for Raku, reduction firing, pit firing, and Cone 6 electric. If you are looking for a creative environment, please check out our website to learn more about studio memberships. Hello, and welcome to my studio. Today I'm glazing, including some of the pots that I created in previous demonstration videos, and the demonstration ends with photos of the finished pots. The first step is to apply wax resist wherever the pots will come into contact with the kiln shell. Next, the glaze is stirred before glazing the pot. I'm dip glazing the colanders with two colors, one with white on the bottom and blue on the top, and the other with blue on the bottom and white on top. It's important to clean the glaze out of the holes in the colander. An outdoor flower pot and two bee huts are dip glazed in eggshell. Eight mugs are dipped in gloss black, then four are dipped halfway in rue tile green, and four are dipped halfway in gloss white. Six mugs are dipped in red-brown, then four are dipped in gloss white, and two are dipped in rutile green. Two different approaches are used for glazing the plates. First, I hold the plates with my fingers while dipping them and touch up the finger marks. Then, on the final two plates, I use dipping tongs. While they didn't fit in the bucket as well, it produced better glazing results. If you would like more information about our membership studio, classes, events, and multimedia productions at Washington Street Studios, visit our website at www.hfclay.com. Here are the finished colanders.
The first mugs are red-brown with white over the top. These mugs are currently for sale. Just visit our store at www.hfclay.com. Then red brown with rutile over the top. These are gloss black with gloss white over the top. And finally, the gloss black with rutile over the top. The first plate is clear glaze over raw clay. This plate is translucent green over white slip. Next, this is translucent amber. Finally, translucent green. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And consider becoming a patron of our channel. Visit www.patreon.com and search for the Potter's Roundtable. Any amount you give will support the creation of a digital library of educational videos and podcasts to support artists, potters, and educators now and into the future.